it's your girl T here. Sorry, a video hasn't been posted in about a week now. Because, um, I've been really busy. Um, went to go see my dermatologist about my lupus and the skin rash that I have. And I've, since then, we've got stitches in. And I've stitched on my arm. I'll post a clip of that video in here so you can see it. I mean, I will link a part of that video in here so you all can see it and we are going to chat while I head to the doctor's office so since we last chatted and yeah did that you know talk thing that I do um like I said I've been to the dermatologist I have been admitted into the hospital how fun was that um we found out that going to the dermatologist, that part, um, I am allergic to the sun. I am allergic to UV rays. So I am a vampire. <laughs> That's what we all say, I'm a vampire. But um, yeah, um, we had to enclose my porch with blinds um, so that I can at least come outside on the porch on days when the sun's really out and shining. Um, we ordered me some hats so that when I do come out, I can you know, be covered up because I have, to, I have to keep completely covered from the sun. I've, I, don't, I don't know. I never was really a hat person as much. I wasn't really. I never was really a hat person because I never thought they really fitted me or suited me. But I guess it's all you know, preference and choice. So um, we ordered me some hats, but I I ordered them for Amazon and. None of, the, none of none of we have a prime account and none of the hats that I liked or needed were like prime where you can get them like within a couple days. So we are waiting for my hats to come from China. Great, they won't be here for another week or so. But as soon as I get them, I'll do an unboxing and show you all. Um, like I said, we put the blinds on my porch so that you know very little light comes through um, on me. Um, like right now. My hand, this hand, is actually being exposed to the sun as, I, as we drive. So, what happens is when I'm exposed to it after so long, and sorry if this is dark to me, my camera looks dark, so sorry if the lighting is not the best. Um, what happens when I'm exposed to the sun is my skin literally feels like a rubber band. Like when you stretch a rubber band like to its max of stretching, that's what my skin feels like. And then add that to a serious burn. like. The worst sunburn you've ever had. Just make it, just put those two together and just, it's not comfortable at all. It's very painful. So we are, um, well, I am, I'm headed now to um, the doctor to, to get my medicine and stuff and to see what all, you know, we're going to do. But for the most part is I have to literally stay out of the sun need no exposure to the sun at all. If I do, like I said, completely go cover it up and <laughs> like, I'm gonna get a nun's outfit, cover myself up. <laughs> do a Sister Mary Clarence from Sister Act. Um, <laughs> but so that's what's going on. Um, I was admitted into the hospital because my iron, I've said this before in a prior video, my iron B12 blood, all that drops really fast. So we got it, I got admitted in yesterday and it was like an, basically an all day thing where I had to sit there with the fusion set them to the IVs well this time well I, the first time I had it done I got sick but this time we changed the iron type and all this other stuff I, don't, I wasn't really paying any attention um, and somehow it made me really bad sick so what would have been a three hour fusion and stuff became a four plus hour sitting so we had to give me two different medications for nausea we I had to eat and it was not fun I mean I mean don't get me wrong the, the cancer center here is great but it's not fun sitting there it's you get you'll get tired and I mean I have my phone and a TV to watch and you know people was talking to me and stuff but it was just like I just want to go because you're hooked to an IV. Just like, I don't want to be in this hospital and stuff. So that's how that one went. And 
diamond. So we did that yesterday. And then the kids came over yesterday with the babies. So I got to see all, both my grandbabies and get to play, we got to play with them and talk to them and it was so fun. And then when I went to bed last night, I was like super tired because when I get ironed, I get really tired. And I just didn't feel right. My stomach was really queasy. It felt like I was, like I had drunk fluids all day. That's how bloated I felt. Then I noticed this morning when I got on the scale, I actually was like two pounds more than what I expected. And I was just like, oh, yeah, like the last thing I want to see on the scale is a weight gain. And I really didn't eat yesterday, but I mean, I had to eat stuff at the hospital, um, which was like a bag of Fritos, salt, two cans of ginger ale, soda, sugar, don't need. I had to do um, some Oreo cookies. I don't like chocolate chip cookies, but I had to eat them. It was like, yeah, but anyway, then I had to eat like this. I didn't do sandwich because I I don't eat meat, so I was like, I don't want that. And so it was like more on the junk side of eating than it was a real food. Um, so, did that. And like I said, after I get iron, excuse me. After I get iron, I normally get really tired, but I was so happy to see the kids and the, and the grandbabies yesterday. That by the time I laid down, I was just, it was, it was just like really bloated and my camera looks like it's falling. So, but anyway, so. This video will probably be really choppy. I'm not gonna try to edit it, a, a lot of it out. So this is gonna be like, just, no clips, no cuts, nothing. I'm just gonna post this. Um, less editing as possible in this video. Um, what else can we talk about? Um, I am going to probably try to do a video today to add on to this. Um, we found a walking track, well, a hiking trail, I guess you want to call it, a hiking trail. Um, at a park up from us and we're going to go walk it and see what kind of fudge we get out of it. I am ordering me a camera today because a lot of my filming is coming from either my cell phone or my baby daddy's camera, one of his extra cameras that he has. So um, I am hoping to order me a camera today and see what tablet or or a computer that I want to edit. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I want a tablet to edit off of. Um, I have a desktop at home, but like if I was out somewhere and just wanted to, you know, have something to do, then I can do it. I can edit a video or do some shoots from it. Um, my baby daddy, I wanted the, I think it's the Canon G7X. I will uh, post everything in the on, on the screen as I talk, so I'll probably have it wrong. I wanted the Canon G7X. He said no, get the Sony, I don't know what it was, I just know it was Sony, um, get that one, so it's like a, what do I do, but um, I'm pretty sure if I just got the one he said get, then if I don't like it, then I'll, I'm going to order another one, but um, so that will be coming up soon, um, we will be doing an unboxing of my new camera, and then I picked out this cute, and I mean adorable um, camera bag. It, it says me all the way. It's a real pretty purple. And then I got some accessories to go with it. So that video will be coming up here soon. Um, I'm going to try to vlog Thursday when I go in for iron if I can. Um, I'm not sure how it is with me vlogging there. I was going to try to do it yesterday, but I wasn't sure. But we'll see. If not, I'll try to do some, ed you know, some vlogging while I'm there. Um, else has been going on since I last posted a video. I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to eventually do an update on um, and let y'all know my weight and all what's going on with that. Um, with me not being able to be exposed to the sun a lot, which is not, you know, just, just, just this little bit of time from my house to where I'm going. It's like a 30 minute drive to my doctor's appointment having this hand exposed to the sun it's like it's bad 
so like I'm highly allergic to the UV rays and sun and a lot of lights and stuff um, my hand is burning but um it's <laughs> it's to want to finally get out the house and wanting to walk and do stuff and lose weight it's like now I'm going to do most of it from in the house I mean I, I'm going to I'm going to go to the gym but um, where we only have one the one vehicle I haven't got a new car yet um, it's you know working around schedules to get a car at night to go to the gym so I don't have to be out, out in, the, in the daylight in the sun But yeah, I will try to do a late night video in the gym. I'm not going to do a late night video walking for sure that. And sorry if this camera is really not cooperating with me. Um, I am almost at my appointment. and going through a major construction zone. There should be another unboxing coming soon. Um, I have two unboxings <laughs> that are just sitting there. That stuff I ordered. They're just sitting there at the house that I have not done. I've just been so lazy with doing it. But yeah, so I will be back. And when I come back, I will have these stitches out. And we will talk more. Alright? Be back. Okay, so we got our stitches taken out and at the side of my face. Now we are going to go find something to drink because I am super thirsty. Uh, let's cover these up. And we have a goodie bag of different medicines and lotions. And let's see what's in here. We have Goat Bond Ultimate Eczema Relief. Because my skin stays like super, super dry. Have another one. We have the Eucerin Professional Repair Extremely Dry Skin Lotion. I need to go get some of these, the big bottles. My phone doesn't focus it in. I will um, I'll insert pictures. There's another user. Usura. It is an ointment. Like I said, if these aren't focusing, then I will, um, I'll insert pictures so you can see what they are that they're putting me on. And then we have healing ointment, skin protectant, non-greasy feel. Oh, sorry. I what this one is. And another one. So I guess I will be going shopping. Well, I guess, I guess we're going to Walmart and getting all this so that I can have some kind of relief of dry skin and something to put in my bag because I'm not too fond of the dry skin. Okay, so now we are off to get something to drink because like I said I'm thirsty I want a milkshake really really bad but when I do ice cream it makes me really sick it makes me like very um, gassy and sometimes my stomach will be like upset, but I love Dairy Queen ice cream. It's the best. 
there's none other like Dairy Queen. And I try to do the almond. I think it's almond breaks. I think. I think it's who it is. I don't want to try to do their ice cream, but I haven't seen their ice cream like my local grocery store has been sold out of it for a while now. But that's how I was when I did the blue diamond chocolate milk. Like I loved it. And it just they just stopped carrying it. It was like, ugh. It's like when I get to liking something that it's like immediately sold out or they no longer carry it. So we have a a Kroger's here that we call it the Gucci Kroger. We call it the Gucci Kroger's because they carry like all the healthy stuff and all the you know nice fit people shop in there. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go in there and see if Gucci Kroger's has it because it's a more healthier drink and stuff. And like I said, I loved it. I used to drink it like oh my gosh, like yes, like it was like water running. It was, I was constantly drinking it. I love the chocolate milk. It was really good. The, um, I used to do a almond milk creamer, but I can't remember which one it was. I don't know, because I don't drink coffee like that, but it was really good, though. Um, I have to figure out which one it was. And link in the description box below. But, um, anyway, so, um, Leave comments below of what um, you all use or what family members or friends of y'all use for um, really dry skin and, and stuff like that. Because my lupus is really just setting my skin off as like, ugh, yes. Let's just be flaky as she, like, she does a bit lotion on this. And I do. And because, um, have like a big bath and body work set that like a variety of smells and then I have um, like the baby lotion I have Jergens. I've tried like a ton of lotions and none of them really work this time around with my skin they're not too fond of my skin for some reason but I don't like the ashy scaly look that I get it's it's very annoying I don't like that look. I don't like the look that I don't, I didn't take time to, you know, look at myself in the mirror or check myself to make sure that everything is okay or good to go. So, yes, that's that one. So, I think I'm going to go through McDonald's drive through and get us something to drink. So, here we go. We're going to go through McDonald's have any size hot coffee for a dollar that's when you know the temperature outside is going to change and it's fall because now coffee is a dollar they did have um any size fountain drinks for a dollar yeah so we're going through mcdonald's to get a drink we'll be back okay so we're going through mcdonald's and I ordered a medium drink, or a, I think a medium drink, medium fry, medium and large drink, and it came to 306. And now we are going to pull up and pay for 306. You too. Oh yeah, by the way. I have on my West Virginia hair bow. I have on my West Virginia shirt. I have on my black leggings. And my pink and purple. I think they're new balances. <laughs> I don't know. I've had them for so long, I don't know. The doctor's office thought it was cute. They're like, oh, you're all decked out in your West Virginia gear. And I'm like, oh, no, not really. I just found the long sleeve shirt. Threw it on. With the tank top up under. I have a blue tank top on up under here. Blue tank top on up under. And threw my West Virginia hair bow. Threw my hair up. And the ponytail. Call it a day. 
I am nowhere near color coordinated matching like I'm supposed to be. Like I normally do. Um, I am going to go get the baby daddy. And we are going to go out like I said. When I come back, I will actually be outside on a hiking trail. So stay tuned. Hey, Veg fam. So I did not get to get to the hiking trail like I wanted to because the baby daddy wanted to yeah just like ruin my plans for the day right so I decided to come with him while he did a video shoot with somebody I don't know but anyway so I am coming to you from the van because I am sitting out here alone that's the window shade for the grandbaby the baby ain't in it I'm, I'm alone there's nobody oh, let me see there's nobody well anyway there's nobody in there the seat is out oh, there you go see the seat is empty so she's not in it she is with her mother I am chilling here in the van laid back we have our back seats folded down still good seats there's our baby on board sign oh okay Sorry for the angling of the camera. Maybe I'm bored soon. But I am basically sitting here chilling. Look. Oh yeah, here's my sneakers that I was talking about earlier. My pink and purple. No, the Reeboks. I set new balances earlier. They're actually Reeboks. So, yes. These are the Reeboks. These are like my favorite. I love the bright coloring. You probably can't see them. But I love the bright coloring. And like I said, see, I have on black leggings. And my West Virginia shirt. Yeah, yeah. All the fat. You can see how really, truly fat I am. But anyway. So I'm sitting here chilling in the van. Oh, that's dark. There's no light in here. Yeah, see? So... Like I said, I'm going to try to get this video up um, ASAP because I'm going to do less editing to it. And um, we are going to see a, I mean, we are going to see, we're not going to see anything. We're going to, well, yeah, we're going to see a, a video that's a um, little, not edited, not like we cut out. So, all right, I will catch y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe thumbs up the video and hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video and like always love to everyone peace out this is what you do when you're in the van alone with your camera well with your phone and your tripod you just chill the recline the seats look <sighs> trash he needs to clean his van out i cleaned that once i'm not doing it again grandbaby's car seat me you probably can't see me we'll turn the phone around and we'll switch the tripod to the other hand Ooh. oh it's dark you can't see me Oh, look. My Fitbit lit up. Let's see if we can get the oh, look. We can't get it to pick up my steps.
It says 1,119 steps. It's not going to zoom in on it. Okay, well, we know I did 1,119 steps. This is B-roll. This is just me playing with the camera in the van. I need to lose weight. I am fat. Hey, this is a good, scary thumbnail. Why is she laying in the dark? But you can see outside reflections of my glasses. I still haven't ordered my camera or my camera bag. I may order it when I get home. Let's flip the camera around and see. <laughs> 